Hi folks, what we have here is the Trailblazer Survival Kit, and we're going to check it out right now on Kitbashed Survival. So I picked this up for $12 at my local prep store, and I'm always on the lookout for just little things that I can review on this channel, and this sort of stuck out to me. It's very small, it's pocket sized, so I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this, but for $12 I figured, you know, why not check it out? At the very least, I'd get a nice little case. So it's got a water resistant 3x5 hard case, fits in your pocket, vital for bug out bags, and ample supplies for days. So let's see, it's got a contents list on the back. Kit includes a signal mirror, 10 wooden matches, and a flat matchbook, small compass, wire saw, magnesium fire starter, survival distress whistle, fishing hooks and weights, fishing line, two cotton balls, flexible wire, pencil, emergency candle, razor blade, condensed survival guide, and condensed injury treatment instructions. Oh, and it's handcrafted in China by the finest Chinese artisans. Now, before we open the kit, I gotta say that the fact that it comes in one of these, quote, water-resistant plastic boxes does not bode well for it, because when it comes to cheap Chinese-made survival kits, these types of boxes are ubiquitous. And if you don't believe me, go on Amazon and search for survival kits, and you will see these types of boxes everywhere. Now, the good news is that they're usually inexpensive. The bad news is that they're kind of hit or miss. Basically, I think there's some factory over in China that makes these types of boxes and they'll put whatever you want in the box for good or bad. So sometimes they're okay, sometimes not. It all depends on what the company asks the factory to put in the box. So let me show you what I mean. We've got this one here. These are the two survival kits made by Survival Lily. This is her fire kit. Does that box look familiar? And actually her fire kit's not too bad. It's pretty good. Again, it all comes down to what you tell the factory to put in the box. This is her survival kit, which as far as these types of kits go is actually not so bad because at least she lets you choose what goes into the box. We've got one here that came from a random survival kit on Amazon. Same thing, just a different label. And here's a green one. Same thing, random stuff inside. And here's a really big one that I got off Amazon. This one's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. So you see what I mean? These types of boxes are all over the place. I've never seen one of these kits be fantastic, but I've seen them be okay. So we'll see how the Trailblazer Survival Kit fares. So it's got these four snaps. And here we go. So first we've got some survival instructions. I'm sure they're fairly basic. Got some decent info in there. Morse code. And we've also got an accident evaluation report. Okay, we've got a wire saw, just in case we need to cut down a tree. <laughs> Don't cut down a tree with one of these things. It seems okay. We've got a little sewing kit. There's one needle, a couple buttons, <laughs> and some thread because we all know that a missing button on your shirt is a big time survival situation. Got a small tea light candle. All right. We've got two cotton balls for tinder. And they're not wax impregnated or anything like that. Just standard cotton balls. We've got a mini fishing kit. Looks like we've got some fishing line, a couple hooks, a couple swivels, and a couple weights. Here's a whistle with a little clip on it. Actually sounds pretty good. 
Here is a ferro rod, a very small ferro rod. And there's no striker for the ferro rod, so, okay. I guess you could use a knife or a key or something like that. Be nice if they had a striker in here. There's a pencil. We've got a straight edge razor. There it is. Got some copper snare wire. Got a little compass. It works well enough. And then we've got a signal mirror. And it does have a protective film on it to protect the mirror. Keep it from getting scratched or dirty. And then of course we've got the container itself. And that's it. All right, so here's all the stuff in the Trailblazer survival kit. Not the best survival kit, but even worse than that, it doesn't even have all the stuff it claims to have because on the back, it said there were 10 wooden matches in a flat matchbook, and as you can see, those aren't there at all. So yeah, I wouldn't exactly recommend running out and buying one of these, but since I have it, let's go ahead and see if we can add some stuff to this kit to make it a little more respectable. All right, so we'll start by removing this whistle because it's pretty big and takes up a lot of space. And in its place, I'm gonna put this much smaller whistle that I had in my parts bin. So we'll put that there. I'm also gonna add a knife, and this is one of those little credit card wallet knives. And if you haven't seen one of these before, the blade folds out like that. And then this comes around that way. And the locks in like that. It's a very crude, cheap knife, but the blade is sharp, and it's certainly better than having nothing at all. So we'll put that in the bottom of the kit. I'm gonna replace the razor blade with a Dermasafe razor knife to give us another cutting option. I'm gonna add a stick of fat wood to beef up the fire making abilities. Now we've got a ferro rod, but like I said, there's no striker. So I'm gonna add this little striker saw tool that I had in my parts bin. I forget where I got this. I think it came out of a cheap grenade survival kit, but it'll do just fine for a striker and it's also got a little sawtooth thing right there, so not bad. I'm gonna put some real matches in this kit for a change. I'll use these Yuko Storm matches. 10 matches, always good to have. I'm gonna add a couple band-aids. There they are. Right here, I've got about 10 feet of 100 pound test micro cord. Got a mini flashlight. Got a Jolly Rancher candy. Got about one foot of duct tape. I've got a mini med kit that has four ibuprofens, two Benadryls, and one Imodium. And then I've got some things that I don't know if they'll fit, but it'd be great if they did. I've got a small survival blanket, some sunscreen, and some hand sanitizer, which could double as an accelerant to make a fire. So I'd like to get all this stuff in the kit. I don't know if it'll fit, probably not. I'll probably end up having to ditch some stuff, but we're gonna find out right now. All right, now I may get rid of this tea light candle as well and replace it with a couple trick birthday candles, but we'll see how that goes. I also might compartmentalize some of this stuff in some Ziploc bags just to keep it more organized. Right on, so we got it all in there, including the space blanket, and the only thing I really had to sacrifice was the tea light candle, 
but of course that was replaced with the two trick birthday candles so we're all good the last thing i'll do is add a thick ranger band on the outside just to help this thing stay shut in case it decides it wants to open and also it's never a bad thing to have a big ranger band in a survival kit they can come in handy all right so there you have it the trailblazer survival kit a pretty mediocre survival kit right out of the bag, but made a little bit better now with some extra gear. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbashed Survival. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.